is going on. It is a wonderful night tonight, and I am very thankful for yet another day to cleanse my mind and cleanse my heart of whatever's been bothering me. This is a new day. It's a brand new, fresh day. I want to remind myself of freshness. That's what I want to think of. When I think of another day, I want to think of freshness. Now, today we're going to come from 1 Peter. We're going to have three verses tonight. 15 to 17 of chapter 3. So it's 1 Peter, chapter 3, verses 15 through 17. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear, having a good conscience, that whereas they speak evil of you as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. For it is better if the will of God be so that ye suffer for well doing than for evil doing. That scripture there is kind of like my life. I'll never forget the moment when I was in gym, I was in high school, and a classmate was about to tell me something, and this other girl said, oh no, don't tell Neely, she's a Christian. You know, that right there is very uncomfortable because you want to fit in with your friends and you want to be able to talk to them about certain things, whether it's about Christ or not. And sometimes you can't get involved in that. And it's really a trip sometimes because you really think you're in there and you think that certain people are your friends, but they're not. I love the, that scripture there because it's really, it really relates to me and how I live. You know, it's not always easy being different. And you have to be willing to understand that if you're going to live for Christ, you're going to be different. You're going to stand out if you go to the club, if you go to particular events, house parties, whatever. You will always stand out. People will see that light in you. And that's what you want. You want people to see the light. It can be very uncomfortable sometimes. But it's better to have the light than to be in the darkness. Because when you're in the darkness, you are in that mainstream. And honestly, I don't want to be in the mainstream. I enjoy being different. I'm glad that I made my decision not to get a nose ring. You know, because I want to make sure I respect God and allow him to use me the way he wants to use me. A lot of people are making decisions on their own, and they're doing whatever they want to their bodies, and they're making their own decisions, moving on impulse, and we aren't to do that. So let us come together and have one mind. Let us be on one accord with God, and let us just live that positive life. If we're going to be fresh and brand new and rinsed, in the Word of God, we've got to follow it. We can't just be hearers, we have to be doers. That's in the Bible also. You can't make decisions to just do things on your own. You have to consult with God. So have a blessed night. Take care. I'm on my way to Bible study so I can get some education from someone else. And it's always great to go to Bible study if you haven't this week. Make sure you do that at some point. Go to church, you know, read the scripture, you know, watch these blogs and listen to the lesson, you know, learn something new. Always be willing to learn something new. Get out of the shell you're in. If you're always at home, get out of the house. Go stand out on the porch and breathe in some fresh air. You know, talk to somebody. Call someone that you haven't talked to in a long time. Tell someone you love them. Get on your knees and pray. It's just so many things we can do. And the last thing I want God to do is to come back and see me sinning or see me unclean. That's the last thing I want to do. And, you know, I have to go ahead and put myself out there. I have tried my very best to live a good life, make sure I follow God's word, make sure I remain blameless in front of him. But I have realized that I am not perfect and I will never be perfect. I slip up all the time. And I try to have days where I don't sin at all. But you know what? I'm going to sin. I'm going to sin when I think I'm not sinning. So for those of you who think that you'll live perfect lives and who think you're already perfect, forget it. You're not perfect. No one is perfect on this earth. We were all born in sin and we were born from parents who sinned. That's a part of life. We're going to sin. However, we cannot use that, that as an excuse, you know, to continue to do what we're doing. If we know that what we're doing is wrong, we cannot continue with those things. You have to have a mind where we discipline ourselves and tell ourselves to get it together. We have to follow the word. We're adults now. Some of us are, some of you out there are young teens. You know, who knows how old you are, the ones that are watching this video, but 
Discipline yourselves. Read the word of God. Talk to God. Look at the sky and just spend time with him. For those of you who, who didn't look at the sky today, make sure you make time to do that. I make sure I do that every day. So take care and have a blessed night.